every card you see here. That's how much I've spent. Some came from card shops, some came from card shows, and even some came from eBay. This just goes to show that you don't have to have deep pockets to buy nice cards for your collection. Now, when I see sports card content these days, especially on YouTube and on Instagram, all I see are dis discussions and posts about cards that fall out of the scope or out of the range of my own particular budget. You know what I'm talking about. Thousand dollar trades, card show vlogs from either a seller's perspective or a buyer's perspective that puts a heavy emphasis on those ultra high end cards. Uh, while this type of content is probably the most popular on YouTube, I can't help but feel that it provides a false sense of narrative especially for those new people or younger people trying to enter into this hobby. Now, while this is all cool, it doesn't present what the reality is. And, and in order to enter into that type of space, you either got to have deep pockets or you got to grind your way up there. But the beauty of this hobby is that there's something for everyone from the high end investors to the low end budget collectors. What it really comes down to is finding that spot, finding that place that you can comfortably navigate. If you're constantly trying to keep up with the Joneses, there's a high probability that you may get burned and put yourself into a hole. So set a budget, find what you like, and buy cards that fall within that criteria and fall within that budget. It's really up to you to decide what kind of cards you like. There are so many cards out there, so many different sets, so many different players, so many different inserts. Whichever cards you want to buy, it really comes down to what you like. Now there's a saying out there that a lot of collectors like to use, buy what you like. But I want to add something extra to that, another phrase to that, within your budget. Buy what you like within your budget. Now I operate with a budget and I can't go crazy buying thousand dollar slabs. Hell, it's even hard for me to spend a hundred dollars on one card these days. Now while I do buy some high value cards from time to time, those days come few and far in between. Although in my next video, I do do a crazy trade that involved this card right here. So if you're interested and if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. And if you're finding value in this content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And now that you've set a budget, you have many options at your disposal. You can either save your money and buy a big card because there's a group of collectors out there that actually do that in which they save their money to buy one big card per year. Or you can use that budget to start buying cards that you like, whether it's Hall of Famers, rookies, ultra modern stars, speculative plays, whatever you want to do, it's all based off of what you like. And no matter what kind of budget you have, there's always something for everyone. Or you can do exactly what I do and buy low end sports cards to try to flip in order to one, promote the growth of your business or two, use the funds to buy a much bigger card. And in this video, I do exactly just that in which I try and start my journey to build a sports card collection using just only $20.